Ah, so, just when you think the weather is supposed to get better. We're in March, end of March. This is what we got. We had a short term spring and back to the cold. Anyways, if you guys got the Dodge Grand Caravan 3.6 liter, I don't know what span years uh, they are in similar models. This is the 2011. I think they start from 2008. No, I'm not sure. Uh, but anyways, this is the 2011, and I have encountered a quite just um, frustrating issue with this vehicle. When I start it up, it gets warm. We drive away, go to the store, shut it off to go inside or, or shut it off to fill up uh, fuel. And then wanting to start it up again, it wouldn't fire up at all. Uh, it wouldn't even click, it would make, it'd make no noise. We turn the key to the run position and it would have, all the lights would come on, everything would work properly as if it is running, but it just wouldn't, it wouldn't start at all and we had to actually wait about an hour is what we've uh, noticed about an hour hour and a half, 15 minutes and then you could fire it up again everything would work just fine and uh, we took it to the dealer wanting to know what's going on <clears throat> so they found there was an engine light on and it was had nothing to do with that first of all I researched it uh, it was a minor issue and according to that, the dealership said that, well, your engine is about to die and, you know, we don't want to see you on the street like this. You might as well just buy a van from us. And, you know, that just kind of was a dead giveaway. They didn't care about our, ve our vehicle. They just wanted to get another sale in and then scaring us into it, which was quite frustrating because they didn't care. Uh, and, you know, can't just throw money like that. So... I had to do my own research and I figured it out and I figured I'd like to help you guys if you have the similar issue where the van just won't start and then after a while it'll start. Um, what I found was the wire connected to the starter uh, becomes brittle in time and I just touched the wire. One, I thought it was the starter so I was going to take it off. I just, I just touched the wire and it kind of dangled loose. So that proved to me that it was uh, not uh, grounded properly. It wasn't getting its power, I guess. Not grounded, but power. And then another thing is, I've seen online, or on YouTube, things you need to take off to get the starter out. Now you don't have to do all those things that's if you want to take the starter out conveniently but you can get away with taking only one object off they suggest you take the a bunch of top components off uh the the rad the, no yeah it was the rad or the fan uh engine cover and a few other things but anyways you can get away with just this one thing which is the uh left driver side engine mount there's a bolt here there's a bolt up top and there's a bolt on the other side on the other side of this engine mount there's a bolt up top and then another one here you take this out and you can unbolt the starter which is just above it I can't really show it to you right now it's kind of hidden just above there and if you unbolt it you wiggle it Oh yeah, and then they want you to take the catalytic converter off. That That's what my issue was. And I found that you don't. There's a heat shield on the catalytic converter that flexes a bit. So if you jam the starter between the catalytic converter and the engine block, uh, you can get the uh, starter free. You can actually wiggle it out just by removing... Uh, this engine mount right here so and yeah the main issue was just the uh, part that plugs in to the starter you just got to squeeze it with uh, 
pair of pliers a little bit, put it back on. Haven't had the issue since. <clears throat> and, uh, and that was it. And my engine light even came off, so I don't know what I fixed there. Another problem that we have encountered is we were going on a trip uh, and about a third, two thirds of the way, which was a 36 hour trip, two thirds of the way, the van just died on us. It flashed, the dash lights were flashing, um, the van actually shifted back into first gear doing about 100, 115 down the road kilometers and it just shifted to first gear, just screaming. So I had to slow down and pull over, shut the van off and it just wouldn't start. It clicked all weird, like, like it was a bad battery, um, which it wasn't. Headlights were bright, all the lights worked fine. And another problem with just the plug, just the plug, uh, the alternator plug. It's the regulator wire on the alternator. Those wires, they tend to let loose. And when I, I actually changed the whole alternator because I panicked. I took the alternator off and I put a new one on, plugged it back in, which helped temporarily, but that plug was still uh, coming loose. Because it's one of those plastic plugs where you have to squeeze the little latch to pop it open. And then when you pop it back in, the latch uh, reattaches and it's supposed to stay fastened to the, the alternator, which wasn't happening here. Now what we did find is later on, the van was acting the same way with a brand new alternator acting the exact same way. And the battery was fine because I boosted it and it was a fully charged battery and it still acted the same way. So we kept looking and we found that it was also just the regulator plug so what I did is I jammed a screw, uh, forcing that latch up in between there that clicked into the uh, regulator plugged by the alternator and now it's forced to stay there and it's actually doing really well. Um, there's no issues with it anymore. It doesn't shut down on us. So all these issues that we ran into where people thought it was just a major, major problem turned out to be a very easy fix. Um, I'm gonna see if I can show it to you guys. So if we look down here by, by the oil, just down, down, down. I'm gonna try to point right at it with my screwdriver. If you see where my screwdriver is, there's a plug. Right there. See the plug right there? There is a screw, I don't know if you guys can see it. There's a screw that's holding that plug in place. That tiny little screw keeps this van running. Keeps that plug into in the uh, regulator by the alternator. That's it. These, I don't know if these vans have the same common issue, if it is a common issue at all. But I figured this is something that would pose as a major issue, something like this, but is very, very minor. Would cost you no money. Just check your regulator plug, make sure that it's fastened. Pull on it, make sure it's fastened properly. And same with your starter, make sure that plug is uh, fastened sturdy and if they're not the on the starter portion you can squeeze the the wire a little bit or the plug a little bit with a pair of pliers and get it back on there because they tend to let go and this one here has a little plastic latch that doesn't hold and you can force it by jamming a screw in there and very easy fixes and then also getting your starter out of a 2011 Grand Caravan you only have to move the front driver side engine mount to get that starter out. It's a bit of a wiggle but it's possible. You don't have to take the radiator and the fan and a bunch of stuff up top here um, and especially you don't have to take 
the catalytic converter out. Anyways, I hope this helped. Please leave a comment and uh, subscribe to get me my 1,000 subs so that I can do more of this, so I can be uh, encouraged to help more. I always uh, enjoy doing some vehicle work, and if I find something, I like to post it because it seems that often people don't want to help, rather just want to make money. So I'm here to help, so just let me know what you thought of this video. Hit, uh, hit the like button and maybe hit subscribe if you want, and then we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.